If you're in Simi land, you know what this means. You know what this means. Once again, Christoph Piontek scored. Milan Empoli 3-0. Piontek, 26 games, 26 goal. One goal per game. Since it since he's been starting for AC Milan, he's, he has scored. The only game that he didn't score for AC Milan was the first game where he substituted from the bench uh, when AC Milan played against Napoli, a game that uh, ended up with a scoreless uh, drawing. Um, AC Milan has finally found the striker that they were looking to replace Ibrimovic for seven years. He is complete. He is powerful, he can dribble, he always strikes on goal, he can take penalty kicks, I don't know about free kicks, he's complete. Uh, it's hard to compare with the players from the past. Also it's, also, it's important to notice that many current strikers are going towards the end of their career. Let's talk about uh, Ronaldo, let's think about Messi, let's think about Aguero, Lewandowski, Suarez, Higuain, Cavani. Now we need a new era of strikers that can replace those guys. And for me, Piontek is the best is the best example of the next greatest uh, strikers in Europe and all over the world. Uh, for me, right now, at his age of 23, he's probably complete, and he hasn't reached his peak yet. Um, he's playing with AC Milan. AC Milan looks like more more of a complete team right now. Uh, probably they're going to play the Champions League next year, who knows, but it looks like uh, they're pretty confident, they're playing really good uh, with uh, Gattuso. And uh, so we'll see. I think Piontek will only improve from here on. Uh, if I think about young strikers right now, all over Europe, all over the world, that are as good as him, uh, their only handful name I can say but for example, I like Piontek better than Morata right now. I like Piontek better than Morata. Lukaku, honestly, for me, is kind of a disappointment for Man U. Uh, Manchester City has Gabriel, Gabriel Silva, Mbappé for uh, PSG. Those are the guys, the young guys that everybody talks about. Piontek, though, is the only true striker. The, and for true striker, I mean the guy that plays inside of the box, you know, in front of the goalkeeper, they always, always scores. Uh, I love him. If you love football in general, you love Piontek uh, because um, he kind of reminds me of uh, strikers from the past. Uh, he, um, remaining uh, with AC Milan, he reminds me of Andrew Shevchenko because Shevchenko was a powerful, powerful striker that was complete. He would score with his head, he would score with his left foot and with his right foot. And Piontek is as complete as Shevchenko. But also, Piontek has the same instincts of uh, Pippo Inzaghi. Uh, Pippo Inzaghi was always able to kind of be free from the defender, uh, always uh, able to anticipate the goalkeeper the defender, and Piontek has the same characteristics. Um, as far as uh, skills, I feel like Piontek is a skillful player, but I don't think he's uh, as skillful as other strikers like Van Basten or Ibrimovic, for example, from the past. Um, I want to see Piontek uh, scoring more goals from outside, but if you look at the goal he scored against Napoli and Atalanta last week, this guy can score anyway, anyhow, anywhere amazing striker if you like this video subscribe to the channel let me know what you think about Christoph Piontek and, let me, and give me out one or two more names about potential future striker that we need to pay attention to thank you again and see you next time guys